Hi, I'm Marley Kaplan from MK Think Tank. I'm here at the Indiegogo tent for Tech Zulu, here with Alex Taub, founder of Social Rank. How's it Hi, going? Marley. It's going well. It's going well. I lost my voice. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, I'm trying to regain it for this interview. Yeah, partying a little bit too hard at South by here? No, <laughs> just uh, you know, talking to a lot of people. <laughs> well, thanks for coming and talking with us today. Yeah, no problem. So tell us a little bit about Social Rank. Yeah, sure. So Social Rank's a really simple and easy to use tool for brands and individuals to find out more information about the people that follow them on Twitter. Um, we launched it about uh, two weeks ago. Two and, weeks ago. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here at South by. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so how does it work? What's a little bit about? Yeah, um, so it's, uh, you know, you log in. It tells you uh, we've come up with about three terms. Uh, one's called most valuable. One's called most engaged. And one called best follower. And we tell you more about the people that follow you. Um, and then right now it's just a layer of information. And we've seen some brands do some interesting things with that. So what kind of brands have you been talking to? What's some of the cool campaigns you've been working on in the last two weeks? <laughs> yeah, so um, so we launched on February 25th uh, with a few launch partners, uh, the biggest of them being GoPro and Spotify. Oh, cool. Uh, the other ones were a company called Harry's, a company called The Skim, a company called Plated, and a company called Corey Vines. And uh, they all rewarded one of their best followers on Twitter. So GoPro gave out a um, an awesome new, new camera uh, Spotify gave out a month of uh, Spotify Premium. Harry's gave out a shaving kit, um, and basically surprised and delighted some of their their best followers on Twitter. So, what kind of gap in the market did you see here? You were just talking about surprise and delight, which you know social marketers are always trying to find a new way to engage with their audience. Um, what did you find that? there wasn't anything for this that made you want to go after it? Yeah, so actually uh, the story starts actually two years ago. So uh, for the past two years, I've been working at Douala, the payments company in Iowa. Uh, my co-founder, Michael, uh, was also working at Douala, the payments company. I ran the business side of the API platform, whereas Michael ran the technical side. We both co-ran the New York office. Uh, but before we joined, and we, we've known each other for about four years, but before we joined, uh, we built something called MVF, which stood for Most Valuable Follower. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of the terms we brought into Social Rank. Um, and it was a little Twitter hack that we put together, uh, and it went viral. We had 50,000 people try it in the first week. Wow. Um, and uh, everyone from the Smashing Pumpkins to Jamal Mashburn, former NBA player. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was really simple. It just told you out of all your followers on Twitter, who is the most valuable? And the way we looked at it was, out of all your followers, who is the most in demand? So we looked at two things, how many followers the person had themselves and what their follower to following ratio was. So if you followed a million people and had a million followers, mm -hmm. um, you weren't so valuable. But if you had a million followers and you followed 100 people, you were super valuable. Right. So in terms of, uh, you know, we put that out there and then when we joined Dewalla, we decided to shut it down because we thought, you know, it was just, it, it was too much to manage that as well as start a new job. And that probably should have been the end of the story, but something interesting happened. Uh, every few months, a different brand would reach out to us asking us to turn it back on. Wow. Um, so after a certain point when we were ready to sort of you know, start our own company, we decided let's go back into this concept, let's go talk to those brands and see what we can actually build. And that's how we launched with some partners also. Right, and so you're only two weeks old. How many brands do you have using the platform right now? Yeah, so, it, you know, we have a few thousand brands already using it. So, uh, you know, GoPro and Spotify, they have almost a million followers themselves. We were also covered in a bunch of uh, uh, publications uh, like Forbes and TechCrunch and Mashable. Now um, Tech Zulu. <laughs> and, and now Tech Zulu, yes. <laughs> and we, um, yeah, brands, uh, we've seen a lot of different uh, um, type of brands use it. We've seen a lot of uh, cars, a lot of sports, a lot of uh, clothing brands. Um, Can you tell us like a, a really great case study that you've seen happen that just, you know. Yeah, sure. So um, it ha happens to be that we, we give, uh, there's a premium version of the tool and we give it to nonprofits for free. And we've, uh, we've had some really great nonprofits reach out to us telling us that, you know, normally they put out a campaign and they try to get, you know, people to share it, retweet it, donate right. to their, their, their cause. And what they've done is they've used uh, social rank to log in and identify who the people who have the most reach that follow them. Because when, when you have 100, 200 followers, it's really easy to figure out who follows you. When you have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers, it's really hard to, to, to sift through that. Right, and to so, drill down. 
Exactly. So uh, we saw a bunch of nonprofits reach out to us saying, hey, we used your tool and we found out that someone with a million followers followed us. We DM them and asked them to retweet this or share you know, this campaign. And they were more than happy to because it just was a click of a button for them. Right. So, um, you know, not saying any names, but just <laughs> some big nonprofits already using it. So it's, it's pretty exciting. Very cool. And you mentioned uh, Spotify and GoPro was there any like really cool success story there? Yeah, so um, we launched a Spotify and GoPro. Uh, Spotify, uh, we, uh, we got to actually from uh, Gary V and Phil Toronto from VaynerMedia. Uh, they're awesome, they're one of the best agencies out there and, and they saw an early version of it and they, they uh, one of the guys at, at Vayner who works with Spotify named Jesse was an awesome person and worked with them. Um, you know, they tweeted out, they got retweets. A lot of their followers said, how do I get you know, a free month Spotify premium. Mm -hmm. How do I, you know, how do I, you know, how do I engage yeah. more and, and, and be surprised and delighted? And then GoPro, actually GoPro is a great story. So there's a guy there named Kevin Plushton. And um, actually after using our tool, I found out he follows me <laughs> on Twitter. Um, I didn't know this. And I saw it after I ran my first report when Michael and I were building it. And um, I used the tool and I, I saw that he followed me and I saw he was the digital marketing person at GoPro. So I DM'd him and I said, hey, Kevin, you know, I just left Walla and I'm working on a project. I think there's a really good GoPro use case. Can I send you more info? What's your email? He gave me his email. I sent him some info. We spoke a few times and then they came on board for the launch. So I sort of used our own product uh, to get one of the launch partners, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And so you've been talking uh, a little bit, you know, you dropped Gary V and Plated and Harry's and this is a bunch of New York, New York tech scene, which uh, we're both from New York. Yeah. <laughs> And so can you talk a bit about the New York tech scene? I mean, I love it in New York. I'm a big fan, definitely growing. Yeah, um, for sure. So, you know, why New York City for your yeah. product? I mean, so I grew up in New York. I grew up on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. I live on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, not with my parents, <laughs> but I still live there. Um, and uh, I've, you know, I got involved in the tech scene. I'm, I'm 26. I got involved in the tech scene when I was 19. I went to college in the city. Uh, so I've been around for about you know the past six years in the New York tech scene. And how have you seen it, you know, grow? So when I when I used to go to the New York tech meetup, you know, Foursquare didn't exist. I saw Foursquare demo for the first time uh, a few years back. Um, you know, there was, you know, there wasn't this camaraderie that there is now. So right now, in the New York tech scene. There's some great successes like, you know, this past year, like Tumblr. There's great companies like Kickstarter and Etsy and Guilt Group. Yeah. Um, but what's interesting is that, you know, it's still, you know, the first inning in New York, whereas in San Francisco and some other, you know, let's just say San Francisco, <laughs> they're in like the seventh or eighth inning. Not to say that they may not go into extra innings and they will, but they, they you know, you the founding fathers of the Silicon Valley or founding fathers and mothers of the Silicon Valley sort of ecosystem have already been made. Whereas New York, you still have an opportunity to be sort of really early on in, a, in an environment where there's some great camaraderie and everyone wants everyone else to succeed and it just helps the community. Yeah, so like, I definitely feel that too. And even here at South by, you know, it's either New York or San Francisco. There's, you know, definitely strong players from from both sides and it's just you know we got to finally meet here and yeah no I, I mean we didn't meet before but I think you know South by for the past I've been going for the past three or four years and the first year I was a newbie learning a lot um, and you know the last last two years has been really about um, meeting new people and also uh, strengthening relationships with existing people um, and I think you know there's a lot of people who hated on South by for the past, you know, year or two saying it's not the same as it was a few years ago. But I think they're missing the bigger picture, which is, you know, it's everyone who's interested in technology and, you know, advancement of technology is here. And besides for being able to get all the meetings you want in, you know, five days, um, it's also just a great opportunity to, to connect with like minded individuals. So I'm a big believer in Even, South by and as well as the New York Tech scene. Yeah. And so what kind of cool things have you been up to with, you know, spreading the word of social rank? Yeah. So, you know, um, we've been speaking to a lot of agencies. A lot of agencies are very interested in managing uh, their brand's uh, accounts. So we're going to be adding some new features in the next few months. Um, you know, multiple account management, the ability to do deeper filters, allowing you to, to, to find out more. You know, if Spotify wants to know who their top hundred most valuable followers who like country music, they should be able to do that with our platform. So adding uh, more features. And then, you know, we started off with Twitter, but 
uh, and we love Twitter and the Twitter API team has been very helpful. And w my co-founder and I believe in Twitter that it's probably uh, the most important company of our generation. Uh, we're also gonna add other platforms like Instagram and Vine and Pinterest and Facebook. So um, we're really just at the, the early stages of what we're building. Definitely early stages, two weeks in and you're already blown yeah, up. Not even, uh, <laughs> I think like 13 days, four, 12 days. Just under two weeks. Just under two Pretty weeks. Pretty amazing. I'm definitely excited to work with you more, you know. Yeah, definitely. I'm Kate Think Tank. We work between brands and the startup world. And, you know, we're definitely seeing that brands are interested in what's going on, what are new ways to, you know, think about marketing, how can we engage with our consumers more. And the startup industry really holds a lot of solutions to the problems that the brands are having. Just yeah. like, you know, you I'm built Social Rank and it's been, you know, helping brands definitely. like so fast. I mean, so one of the things we heard is that there, you know, there are a lot of tools because when, when when all these brands started reaching out to us, like two years ago when we we built MVF, uh, we said, "Aren't there a million awesome tools for Twitter? Like, aren't there, you know, everything you sort of need?" And they're like, "Well, listen, we we'll have we have all the tools that help us figure out what time of day to tweet, what hashtags to use, what content to push out. There's not really a great tool, like a de facto go-to tool, to find out more about the people behind those tweets. So we aren't really we don't really care what they're saying." We care who they are. Uh, we'll eventually care about what they're saying as well as who they are, but we're starting and focusing on on who the people behind the, behind the accounts that follow you. Right. It's definitely heading towards content marketing and really, you know, getting to know your audience rather than just, you know, yeah. talk to them. You're talking with them. Yeah, just because you have a hundred thousand followers doesn't mean they're customers. Doesn't mean that they, you know, identify with you, and doesn't mean that they're excited about your brand. So you yeah. want to make them fans. Well, definitely excited to see what's coming up. Uh, thanks for being with us here. Thank you for having me. At uh, Tech Zulu at the Indiegogo Lounge. Marley Kaplan from MK Think Tank here with Alex Taub from Social Rank. And uh, be on the lookout for this guy. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Yay.